In this recording, we're going to work through the solution to question two on problem sheet one. So the question asks us that, well, first of all, it states with saying two point charges, the first with charge of 3.13 microcoulombs, the second with a charge of negative 4.47 microcoulombs are separated by 25.5 centimetres. And then we're asked to, first of all, A, find the magnitude of the electrostatic force experienced by the positive charge. And then B, is the magnitude of the force on the negative charge greater than the same or less than that experienced by the positive charge? And explain your answer. So what we're going to do first up is we're just going to solve part A because you should all be able to do part A and then part B it gets a little bit trickier so do the first bit first. So once again we should recognize that this is a question based around Coulomb's law. So Coulomb's law is F is equal to Q1 times Q2 all over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared and if we need a reminder what all of those are here we go and we can see that in the setup of the question we have all the information we need to then find the solution so let's work through this so here's my expression for coulomb's law just to lend me a hand and now i'm going to start drawing so what we've got is first of all f is equal to let's start substituting some values in so we're going to say q1 is the first charge because why not? And that was 3.13 microcoulombs. So that's 3.13 times 10 to the minus 6 because it's microcoulombs. Then we're going to multiply it by the next value, which is 4.47 microcoulombs, but it's negative 4.47. But the thing is, we're not going to worry about the negative sign when we're interested in the magnitude. In these sorts of problems, find the value first and then think about the direction. So we're just going to enter this value as 4.47 times 10 to the minus 6 because it's microcoulombs again. And that's the top bit of our equation done. And then that's all over for times pi times epsilon naught which is 8.85 4 times 10 to the minus 12 it's farads per meter but we don't need to worry about the units in this expression multiplied by the radius squared so r is the distance between the charges this was 25.5 centimeters in the question but we need to convert it into meters for this to work in the equation and that's 0. 255 meters but we also need remember it's r squared so we need to square that value if we do this what you'll get is f is equal to 1.93 newtons and that's the answer for part a for part b it's slightly well, kind of slightly more complicated, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're going to delete this for now. So we're going to clear the screen. And we're going to calculate the second part. So this time we're asked to think about um, what... So we basically, we basically worked out what the effect of the negative charge on the positive charge was. If we want to work out the other way around, essentially all we're doing is we're replacing the values of q1 and q2 we're swapping them over so this time we're going to calculate it as 4.47 times 10 to the minus 6 remember we're just interested in magnitudes when we're calculating the force so that was previously q2 now we're going to make it q1 and q1 becomes q2 so that's 3.13 times 10 to the minus 6 again all over our friend 4 pi times epsilon naught 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 multiplied by r squared so r is 0 0.255 squared and if you look at that you should be able to see straight away that that's going to be exactly the same value so the reason why we needed to do that was because we needed it to justify our answer because in the question it asks you to explain. So if you're asked this sort of question in an exam, don't just 
do a calculation and then stop. You need to fully answer the question. So we're going to say they're the same. And why are they the same? Um, it's because that the magnitude or the size is the same. So the magnitude is the same. But is the thing is they're going to be operating in opposite directions because one is a positive charge and one is a negative charge. So the magnitude is the same but the direction is opposite. And that's the answer to that question.